When planning an electric fence, the live wires are most effective when placed at the nose and shoulder height of the animal you're trying to manage. Additional wires, both live and neutral, can be incorporated into the fence for more effective animal control. Neutral earth wires help with grounding, especially in drier climates, increasing the effective shock when both wires are touched simultaneously. When selecting an energizer for the fence, consider the type of animal, the distance of the fence line, the type of wire being used, and the climate where the fence is installed. A simple rule of thumb is to look at the joule output of the energizer. Under perfect conditions, one joule can power approximately one mile of fence line. Therefore, the more joules, the greater the distance the energizer can cover. Thinner strands, stainless steel wire, and dry ground increase resistance and reduce the shock's effectiveness. So larger, more powerful energizers are often necessary. In practice, for temporary fencing, 2 joules per kilometer of fencing is recommended. The breed and size of the animal also determines the strength of the energizer needed. Domestic livestock reared with electric fencing from a young age will generally respect the fence and require less power. However, when introducing new adult livestock, a more powerful unit is necessary to train the animals and protect the fence. When fencing for rabbits and hares, polywire can be used, and for most units of up to 1.5 joule mains or the SV5 solar units are suitable depending on the size of the animal and the fence's distance. For more problematic animals and larger bucks, a stronger unit like the SV10 may be required. For small breeds of dogs and cats, flower beds can be fenced using polywire and energizers such as the PET 100 or SV2. However, more powerful units are needed for perimeter fencing and larger breeds. Domestic animals can be trained to the fence with an initial good strong shock, helping them associate the wire as a no-go zone. For pigs, the minimum recommendation is an MB3 or SV10 solar unit for pen fencing. Larger units such as the MB4.5 and above are recommended for free range animals, large boars and permanent perimeter fencing. Sheep can be challenging due to their thick wool which insulates them from shocks. Larger energizers such as the MB4.5 are more effective. For improved efficiency, the MB8 and higher units offer an option to operate at half power, which is useful after the sheep's wool has been sheared. Goats, like sheep, require adequate power based on their size. Goat netting polywire, which has a high resistance, often requires more powerful units for an effective fence. Dairy cows have diverse farming applications, making the full range of JVA energizers suitable. The SV2 works for short strip grazing and pens at agricultural shows. The SV5 to SV20 are ideal for strip grazing and small temporary paddocks, while larger units are better for extensive pastures and can handle weeds and vegetation along the fence line. Beef cattle will require sufficient power to control them, so minimum requirements would be at least an MB4.5 for permanent longer fences and SV5, 10 or 20 solar units for strip grazing depending on the size of the camp. Horses, due to their short hair not providing much insulation and sweat acting as a conductor, generally require less power. For very small temporary enclosures, an SV2 can be used. However, horse tape which is recommended for horse fencing, has higher resistance due to the thin stainless conductors and thus requires sufficient power for larger, permanent paddocks. The SV10 and higher units are ideal for horse fencing. For more information on our product range, please visit our website.